Hi guys, how are you? It's David Hernandez again with you. Um, is do I look well? Do I look okay? Are we focused? Is anybody there? All right. Anyways, <clears throat> what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about Le Maquillage. Le Maquillage is a product um, based out of Paris. Uh, it, this is a fard cream. So Le Maquillage is the brand of makeup. Rhonda says hello. Barbie says hola guapo. Hi. Um, so Diva this, 5000 says hi. This is um hi. Um, this is a wax based product. Rhonda says okay. hi. What up, y'all? <clears throat> okay, so wax based product. Uh, what you do with it is you can use it with oil or you can use it with 99% alcohol. You can also mix it with aqua sealer to make it waterproof. So what I'm going to do is just basically use Le Maquillage on her face. I will add a couple little things here and there. Um, but I'm going to start out by cleaning my hands. Okay. And then I'm going to hydrate because it's the most important thing to keep your skin very well hydrated. I'm using the Yanko toner. Glenn to Beauty says she remembers you from her visit. Yay! This is the Yanko toner. Okay. Now I'm gonna make a little cocktail. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Caudalie oil. I'm gonna use Mario Badesco. Oils are good, people. Oils are good. The hydrating serum. Okay. Mix that up. Apply it. So the molecule is much smaller, um, much smaller in an oil and in a serum. So this is going to penetrate deep. Okay. Now I'm going to use, of course, Embryolis. Do I look okay? Is the lighting alright? I guess so. Her skin is flawless. I know. And now a little bit of Embryolis. Hot. Perfect. A little bit of eye cream. You look fab, darling. Perfect. Take a little bit of eye cream. Because she's a little dark underneath the eyes. Oh, lighting is great now. Perfect. You can put some on the lips too. Alright, so what I'm going to do is start <clears throat> by using my brush. Okay, and I'm going to lube the brush with moisturizer so I don't pick up too much product. So I'm moisturizing my brush basically so that it picks up less product. Okay, what I'm gonna start with is a little bit of orange. What light are you using? Which light? It's called the one God gave me. Um, no, it's the light from outside. So I'm just using a little bit of orange to neutralize. You see how it just glides much better? Just the neutralization, that's it. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. I like creating the colors on the face. Um, it's just a habit. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is make her a little foundation. So we'll go with a little bit of this and a little bit of the olive. And we'll mix them together and see what happens from there. Too red, so I need more of this yellow. It's 
So you said to use it with water or aqua seal? You can use it. Right now I'm using it with a little bit of oil, so moisturizer. You can use it with alcohol. You'll see when I do the eyebrows, um, when I do liner, I'm going to use it with alcohol. Okay, so I'm mixing up the color. She's coming out real orange because that sucker had a lot of red in it. Let me add a tiny bit of green. It Just doesn't burn the eyes? No, because you're not putting the alcohol straight on. You're mixing it in. Let's see what happens here. We'll adjust as we go. But if you could see, I'm adding green to it slowly. The color we had before and now the color that we got. A little green, which is fine. Applying with the foundation brush. So green cancels the red? Yes, most definitely. It's just had too much red in it, you know? So just take a little bit of green and put it inside and you'll be fine. Okay, let me see where I'm at. Let's do a little bit of a beauty blender, just pressing it in. She has beautiful skin anyways, so it's pretty easy. Add a tiny, I think I took away too much red, so let's get add a little bit more to it. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my finger and just add it to the face. There she goes. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is still use my little palette. I'm going to sculpt her face. Using the same palette. Straight. Just adding a light shadow and then diffusing. Are all these products available at night? Yes, all of them are available here. They're all Le Maquillage right now. See, it's a subtle contour. I always start at the top and bring it down. Blending that out. Okay. Taking it here. Blending that out. Very pretty, subtle. What brush are you using? I'm using um, number 12, Nigel's brush, and I'm using Bedellium 785. Sorry, Dellium, not Bedellium. The D, the B is um, silent. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight. Though she's glowing enough, I'm gonna add some highlight, which is still in the same palette. Just putting it on, gliding it nicely with your finger is fine. 
<laughs> Tim says work, David. Girl, I'm trying, girl, I'm trying. Very pretty. Okay. Now I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do a little bit of shadow work with the same product. So let's just create a nice um, lid. But actually, I just got reminded in my head. I did not moisturize my brush because um, I want a lot of pigment. So I'm applying the blue. Who's your favorite presidential candidate? Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that Tim? No. Um, who is it? I don't know. <laughs> Cause I don't know who's running. Is that bad of me? And now I'm going to blend and diffuse the edge. But keeping the intensity at the base. Yes? Are we good? Is my lighting okay still? Open. Very nice. I'm gonna take a little bit of shadow and put it on top. Lighting's great, they said. Perfect. I'm using black up blue for the intensity. Just pressing it on. You're basically setting your cream. Open. Fantastic. Let's blend. Ether Gray says she loves you and you always help her at the store. You're so nice. Aw, oh, thank you. So just diffusing the edge of the blue. Uh -huh. And then just wiping a little bit off through here. Taking more of the blue on the other eye. <laughs> Love the blue. Love the intensity. Is it necessary to apply primer before using a wax based product? No, you shouldn't. That's a very good question. No, you shouldn't. It should go straight onto the skin. Now to blend. Open. Very pretty. I'm going to do a gradient color. That's a navy. Also by Black Up. Very nice. Taking a little bit of a cream tone. Just to diffuse lightly, and then I'll go back into that blue. Very nice. Go back into that blue really quick. 
Open. What did you just do? I just highlighted her, and now I'm going back just to intensify the center. Beautiful. So when you look at her with her eyes open, it opens her eye more. Viva 5000 says that blue is calling her. Got a girl. <laughs> Now I'm going to use um, the same blue, the same blue underneath the eye with a smaller brush. Looking up. I do love a blue. It's nice. It's the most contrasting, but it just looks really pretty. Taking a little bit more shadow. Just for the intensity. Get the front of the eye. Okay. Making it happen. Up. I'm gonna use black on the inside. How is the longevity of the product that you're using? It depends on how you set it, you know? If you want the product to stay fresh and stay moist and you're doing editorial work and you want everything to be moist, of course, you're gonna be standing right there with it. Um, if you set it with powder, with loose powder, um, you basically bind it, and when you bind it, I bind you, Nancy, from doing harm to yourself and others. Sorry. Um, but you bind it with the powder so that it becomes like a cement, okay? Um, and it becomes completely waterproof. I'll show you that. Remind me when I'm done. All right. I'm going to take the black and go on on the inside. Looking up. Rhonda loves that you work with so much passion. Oh, thanks. Okay, so I'm just using the black fard cream inside the eye. Okay. I can use um, a little bit of aqua sealer to mix for Makeup Forever. Aqua sealer. Just do a dot and mix because the wax-based product uh, will be diluted with oil or alcohol. Beautiful. Same thing on the other side. Open. Yes, very nice. Kita says this is beautiful. Thank you. Just pressing up against the lid. Okay. Hi from Sweden. Those eyes are fierce. Love it. Hi, Sweden, Vervich. All right. So we've done that. Now I'm going to um, work on the brows, okay? The brows, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my palette and I'm going to use 99% alcohol, okay? Um, I love the glow on your skin right now, girl. <laughs> the alcohol dilutes it. If you can see that. The 99% alcohol, not 70. Okay? But it's also going to make it stay longer. So I'm going to do a really soft brow. I don't want too much intensity. And I'm going to add a mixture of colors because I want some depth. 
some highlights. This one has a little bit of reddish in it, which is nice. And now I'll add a deeper tone, maybe a little bit of black that I can use for my aqua sealer still. It's not dry yet. And maybe just run through the hairs. Very nice. Just running through the hairs. I'm not really pressing because I need all of those depths to the hair. If you can see that there's a couple colors, it's really nice. Okay. Blush. I'm gonna add some blush to her contour. Um, sure. Maybe just a touch of wine. Very pigmented. <laughs> Beautiful. They love a dark blush. I love a fucking dark blush. Absolutely love a dark blush. Everybody's just so scared, you know? You have to get over it. Definitely get over it. Fantastic. Very pretty. Beautiful skin. I absolutely love it. Um, what I'm going to do is set this now, but I'm only just going to set it in the areas that need to be set. So I'm going to use Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder in number 52. What are you going to do for lip color? Um, I was thinking dark. I was thinking dark, looking up. I always sat underneath the eyes, it's always nice to set it just because that's where it moves and that's where things start to separate. Also around the nose area. And a little bit of the forehead, not too much of it. Maybe just the center. This brush is a Makeup Forever brush. Um, it's number 160. I love it. Very, very pretty. All right, I do want to add a little bit of shine. A little bit of shine to that blue. Um, so add a little bit of this intense turquoise tone. Would you use a setting spray or do you think it would disrupt the makeup? Oh no, you can use a setting spray. Most definitely. I love a setting spray. Just to give it some movement, some sheen towards the front. Very pretty. So I have um, the intensity. Still. Very pretty. And actually what it just did, because I highlighted that and left this dark, it downturned her eyes. So if what you- What setting spray, or what setting powder was that again? What setting, oh, Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever, super matte loose powder. Now I'm just gonna soften this just a little bit. Okay. Open. Wanda Barajas. Is oh, very that's pretty. so pretty. Very pretty. I agree, Wanda. I agree. Thank you so much. All right, now for the lips, I'm going to use the same product. The same product. And I think what I use for her um, blush, I'm going to use for her lips. 
Why not, right? Oh, it's gonna be real juicy. Let me thicken it up. All right. The placement gave her a different eye shape, you're saying? Yes, most definitely. That's how I was saying that um, by the placement that I just put it in the front, it downturned her eyes, so they slanted up more. And then they're drooling over the palate. Isn't it amazing? It's only like 250. With discount? That's with the discount. It's originally 400. If you guys have questions or anything, you can always ask us. Um, you can email us online. You can call us here at the store. Ask for me, talk to me. Pick up my time. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's a good combo. It's a very good combo. The blush is, you know, softer, but it's still in the same tone. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara really quick. <clears throat> what was the price again, David, on the palette? The palette, this one, is about 400, but with the discount it comes out to like 237 or something like that. It's definitely worth it. Now this mascara is amazing. This is, um, believe it or not, it's Bare Minerals. And it just gives you so much lash. It's gorgeous. What about the one you use for the foundation? Which one? The, um, oh, the foundation, that's this one. These run you 31, that's with your pro discount. And this one is actually um, mine. It's DAH10. Amazing, amazing, amazing palette to have. Will you be at the Orlando makeup show? Of course I will. Come visit me, most definitely. Um, I'm gonna just gonna buff this out a little bit more. I want a little bit more intense blue. Yes. Very nice. James Vincent says, hey sis. I love you. So just turning up the color a little bit. He says he loves you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. So she's dewy where she needs to be dewy. Okay? That's the important thing, is that you can still have a glow, but you can still be matte. Okay? Because I've mattified her through the center, so it's going to be less of a glow than here. And over here, I did add, um, I added a little bit of the gold that's in this palette. Um, we can actually use more if we want. Why not? Go for it. Jean says gorgeous as usual. Oh, thanks. I love this color. So pretty. Just tapping it. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Very pretty. Maybe throw some up here. Why not? What about waterproofing? Waterproofing. If I were to take my loose powder and I were to take a puff, this is where I'll explain to you about this beautiful product, okay? So like I said, it's a wax-based product. You can dilute it with oil. You can dilute it with 99% alcohol. Oil, that means moisturizer, oil, um, anything that's gonna give it a slip, argan oil, coconut oil, whichever you please, okay? So I wanna show you, I'm gonna take some color, apply it on my hand, okay? First, I'm gonna take a little bit and dilute it with 99% alcohol. This way, 
You can paint and put it onto prosthetics. You could put it onto appliances. You could do body work so that it stays, okay? Chia Ching fan says hello. Hi, girl. And it dries a little more matte. Now if I were to use an oil, I'm using the Cotalie oil, just because I can. <laughs> just a drop of oil will also give it a spread. You see that? Genius. Okay, now when you use loose powder on top of it, I'm actually gonna use, um, let me go get it. I'm gonna get the face affiliate powder. The glory of working in the store, I can walk around everywhere. This is my kit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take the face atelier powder, load it up. Ivan Jose says, hi, you work it. Hi Ivan, how are you my love? I love you, you know I do. So I'm basically pushing it in. Old school theater, old school. Okay, then buffing it out. Okay, now if I have some water. James says don't hit on his boyfriend. Excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, that's mine. You have one, you're married, sir. I'm not married. Okay, so let me show you. It just comes right off. Okay, now I'll get a tissue. Nothing, nothing. That's why this product is so beautiful. That's why it's so beautiful. Um, and look, it's still matte. Okay, so um, this is a beautiful product. You should really, um, Buy one if you don't have one, any of the sizes, it doesn't matter, but just so you can become a better artist and learn how to play with color and learn how to play with texture and um, honestly, learn how to work less. You know, um, when I use this, I can leave them, they're fine. It's not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, where other things, I have to watch it constantly. You know, but that's my choice also. But yes, I did use um, these two. What is it called again? This is Le Maquillage and it's the Fard Cream Palette. So this one is DAH7, and this one is DAH10. How ironic, they're both mine. And then how much do they go for? This one with the discount is 31. This one with the discount is about 237. Not bad, it's gonna last you forever, because you use very little. Of course, I'm just overusing it just to show you, but you honestly use such a little amount um, it's Kiri so Aldis cool. says they're the best, and she says hi. Oh, hi. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed the makeup. Um, I love you guys, and I'll probably see you tomorrow. Okay, okay, bye. I love you.